Question number two, Marama Davidson. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Justice. Is he considering making any changes to New Zealand's electoral law in the remainder of this parliamentary term? The Honourable Stuart Nash. Mr Speaker, the Ministry of Justice is currently considering areas of electoral law reform and will be providing advice to me on this shortly. Supplementary, will he consider implementing the Electoral Commission's recommendations order, from... Order, sorry, before the member continues, can we, can we just have it clarified uh, whether, whether the, the Minister is talking uh, on behalf of Mr Little or on his own behalf? OK, so it's going to be provided to you, not to the Minister. OK, right. Supplementary. Will he consider implementing the Electoral Commission's recommendations from their report into the 2017 general election, such as allowing voters of Māori descent to change role type at any time? Mr Speaker, the Ministry of Justice and the Justice Select Committee are looking at a number of areas of electoral reform, which includes many of the areas identified in the Electoral Commission's report on the 2017 election. The Government will be considering these areas of electoral reform in due course. Will he introduce a bill implementing the Electoral Commission's recommendations from the 2012 MMP review, particularly as the Deputy Prime Minister said recently that considering the review's recommendations was a, quote, marvellous suggestion? Uh, Mr Speaker, the Ministry of Justice is currently considering areas of electoral reform identified in the Electoral Commission's report on the 2017 election. Uh, I will be receiving further advice on this in due course, but there is a robust process that all change must go through before we consider introducing any bill to the House. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm going to ask the, the Minister to now answer the question that was asked. Do you, do, does the Minister want it repeated? No. Right. Uh, there is a robust process that all change must go through before we would consider introducing any bill to the House. Will he consider the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Can the government assure the House that no electoral law changes will be finalised or introduced as a bill before this House until the Justice Select Committee has completed its inquiry into the 2017 election, as has been the convention in this House for a very long time? Mr Speaker, we have a legislative programme that, we'll, uh, that the member will, uh, will learn of in due course. Supplementary. Will he consider overturning the ban on prisoner voting brought in by the last government, given that the High Court, Court of Appeal and the previous Attorney General all ruled that the ban breached the Bill of Rights Act? Order. Now, the member might want to rephrase the question. It wasn't brought in by a government. Parliament. Will he consider overturning the ban on prisoner voting brought in by the last parliament, given that the High Court, Court of Appeal and the previous Attorney-General all ruled that the ban breached the Bill of Rights Act? Uh, Mr Speaker... Uh, let's, we'll, we'll be flexible and let the Minister... Right? Mr Speaker, this Government is considering a number of areas of electoral reform, but like everything as mentioned, there is a robust process that change must go through before it can be implemented. Supplementary. Will he consider increasing the transparency requirements in New Zealand's donation disclosure rules, given the large amount of donations in New Zealand where the donor's identity is anonymous, including over 3.5 million in anonymous donations to the National Party? Without, without the last bit. Uh, Mr Speaker, I have instructed officials to look at electoral laws, including the disclosure of donations, so we can start a public discussion and conversation. We need to ensure that our system is robust enough to avoid the kind of allegations that we have seen uh, in the last few weeks from, for example, Jamie right, Lee Ross. Sit down. Thank you. Question number three, Tamati Coffee.